What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here jumping in with an update here on a 6.0 earthquake striking out here in the southern part of the globe. Uh, by the way, it is May 7th, 2021 is the date, 8.56 a.m. West Coast time. And a pretty good size 6.0 earthquake striking out here right around the Antarctica and the Australian plate. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out this more on the a uh, little bit more detailed map here on the USGS page. You can see that 6.0. Um, look, they have it set uh, west of uh, Macquarie Island, right, uh, right around that uh, plate boundary of the uh, Antarctic plate and the Australian plate. Pretty good size six pointer. Uh, haven't seen too much earthquake activity in this region of the world, but uh, you know what? Things are changing. Things are definitely shuffling around. Uh, I don't believe there's going to be any type of uh, tsunami statement with this, but it's always good to check, right? It's been reviewed, 10 kilometer depth, 6.0 on the uh, magnitude scale. Uh, historically, of course, historically in this type of uh, uh, plate boundary, there's obviously going to be earthquakes, right? You can see it specifically well defined in this region here. Uh, it looks like there's definitely been some uh, larger quakes or at least similar magnitude uh, within the past uh, 120 years or so. Of course, here's a little map of the uh, Australian region. That specific area sits right down here in this little uh, bend, if you will. Just right at about the uh, southern tip. Right around here, see the general movement of the plate. And uh, yeah, it's just a pretty uh, pretty crazy day, let me tell you. But that's just a general um, general map of how the uh, the movement goes around the Australian Antarctic plate area. I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of detail, but uh, either way, it could be an interesting day, folks. 6.0 looks as though this six pointer came just after uh, about 15 minutes after this uh, deep earthquake over here in Chile. 116 kilometers for that 4.6 there uh, near Chile, South America region. We've just seen a little, quite a few areas of oddball activity. I mean, I think things are definitely uh, getting ready to ramp up here real soon. Of course, last night we had that uh, 4.7 that I, I did feel uh, north of uh, northwest of Truckee, northwest of Lake Tahoe, Reno, Nevada sits over here to the east. This earthquake was felt all the way down into the valley of Sacramento. Uh, now it's not a major earthquake and the USGS calls it a light earthquake. I would consider 4.7 somewhere along the lines of a moderate earthquake. Well, okay, light to moderate, somewhere around there. But uh, it was definitely felt uh, significantly uh, throughout the area. Here's a little map, you can see um, all the reports being generated looks like all, all the way up to possibly Oregon uh, throughout the Bay Area down south to uh, oh down there it's south of Merced, Chachilla, Bakersfield area uh, and of course Reno, Truckee area getting the brunt of it, Grass Valley seeing uh, a little bit of movement light to moderate shaking I haven't heard anything about any d damages but uh, man no doubt people uh, People definitely feeling this earthquake, wondering what's going on. Um, and uh, since then, let's see what we got here as far as aftershock activity goes. Let's zoom into the area up here in the Sierra Nevadas. Of course, this area, uh, right around this area, seen a six-pointer, or I believe it was a six-pointer, uh, quite some time ago. I'll, I'll do a little bit more uh, researching on that and uh, present that in the update video later tonight. But as uh, far as aftershock activity, it looks like we're seeing a, a good handful in that region. Uh, largest one so far, a 3.1. They're all, they're all roughly about the same depth, uh, right around 10, 11 kilometers, except for this 1.6 away from the area um, at 3.8 kilometers. So. All right, guys, for now, I'm going to jump off here and continue about the day. We'll see what happens. Looks like just some activity ramping up all over the place, even Montana as well. 
Uh, could be a very, very interesting busy day. For now, 6.0 uh, out here in the South Pacific Ocean, right around the uh, plate boundary of the Antarctica and the Australian plate. Have a good day, folks. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there.